The RTX 3080 is still nearly impossible to get, but I do have some tips for you, and it looks like Ryzen 6000 is going to be extremely fast. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Stock Drops. So as many of you may know, this year it's been incredibly difficult to get any new technology. Whether it be new GPUs, CPUs, or even consoles, they seem to be selling out in seconds. And you know, personally, I just don't have time to be refreshing websites all day. Thankfully, Stock Drops does all the work for you by constantly checking when new products are in stock all over the internet and alerting you when they become available. If it weren't for Stock Drops, I wouldn't have been able to get my 3070. And personally, I think it's the best service out there for helping you get new technology. So if you want a better chance of getting that new GPU, CPU, or console, go click the links in the description below to follow them on Twitter and Discord. So I just today finally got the email from EVGA stating that, yep, I can finally buy the RTX 3080 for the Win 3 Ultra, which was the card that I was looking for because, you know, it's a little bit pricey at over $800, but, you know, when you compare it to, say, the RTX 3080 Strix and even the Supreme from MSI, well, it's significantly cheaper than those two, and it comes pretty dang close in terms of its power delivery and I just, you know, it is a little bit weird of a design, but I do actually like it. So I really wanted that card and finally I'm able to get it. So, you know, as exciting as that is, I begin to think about it more and I'm like, wait a minute, the RTX 3080 launched over three months ago and I signed up for this queue on day two. I believe it was the 18th at 10.27 a.m. So it's only been about like somewhere around 26 hours or so of time that they've been able to get through in over three months. So yeah, they just finished their day one orders and again, it's been over three months since this card launched. So yeah, at this point, I'm calling it an absolute paper launch. I've given them enough time. The 3080 supply itself uh, just it specifically has been terrible. It continues to be terrible. Now, the good news is that if you saw my video from a little bit earlier, it looks like NVIDIA may have signed a new deal with Samsung to create a lot more supply of these GPUs. So that could end up improving this overall stock that's available in quarter one of 2021. And at this point, we're getting pretty close to quarter one of 2021. I mean, we're halfway into December. So things are looking up, but you know, I just got to say, this is really, really bad. I've never seen a launch that's been this poor in terms of the amount of supply available. Now, taking a look at the RTX 3070 and the RTX 3090, and even the RTX 3060 Ti, the supply of those cards is significantly better when compared to the 3080, or at least that's how it seems. Now, I don't have any hard numbers right now, what it looks like, but you know, just based off of the various pings that I've been seeing from places like Stock Drops, which by the way, if you do want to be able to have the best shot of trying to get one of these cards, I highly recommend you follow them on either Twitter or you follow, you know, their Discord because that's going to be pretty much your only chance of trying to get one of these cards. But, you know, based on the pings that have been showing up, I've been seeing a lot of 3070s, a lot of 3060 Ti's, and, you know, a lot is relative when compared to the 3080. There's not a lot overall, but, um, and I've also been seeing a lot more RTX 3090s. And, you know, a lot of people have been complaining, including me, that there's way too many 3090s and there's no 3080s showing up. And to you, I would say, okay, Okay, if you want more 3080s to show up, here's two things that you have to do. One, stop buying 3090s because the RTX 3090 uses the same GA102 die as the RTX 3080. And NVIDIA can sell the RTX 3090 for $1,500. All they have to do is slap on another 14 gigabytes of VRAM. And that definitely does not cost an extra $800 to do that. There's no way. So they're making way, way, way more profit off of the RTX 3090. So if people are going to go out there and continue to buy the RTX 3090, well, there's pretty much no incentive for NVIDIA to sell you a $700 card when they can sell you essentially all the same components just with a little bit of uh, changes for $1,500. I mean, they're going to make way more money on that. So the first thing you got to do is everyone needs to stop buying 3090s if you want 3080s to show up. So if you're one of those people who was like me who you're waiting 30 for a 3080 and you were very tempted to buy a 3090, just don't do it. Just wait it out. Try your absolute best to be quick on the draw when you see pings show up and try and get them. Now, the second thing you need to do is stop buying from scalpers because scalpers know that the 3080 is in extremely high demand and they're making a lot of money off of them selling them in places like eBay. So if everyone stops buying them from scalpers and you stop buying 3090s, It'll be, it'll be crazy. Magically, like overnight 3080s will start to appear. I guarantee you the stock will improve by like 10 times. Now, if you're still listening to this and you're like, well, I haven't bought a 3090, I'm still waiting for 3080, I'm not willing to buy off a scalper, great, you're doing the right thing. But there's a couple other things that you can do to try your absolute best to get a 3080 until stock does start to improve, which it sh hopefully should, or at the very least, hopefully they'll be releasing a 3070 Ti by the time, you know, January or February rolls around, which that'll be another option that you can look at. But, you know, if 
if you want one right now, your best chances would be to A, follow a bot such as Stock Drops over on Twitter or on their Discord. B, you need to have your phone on you and you need to be ready to pick up that phone at all times. You need to have notifications set. So if you're following Stock Drops over on Twitter, not only do you need to follow them, you have to hit that bell to make sure that they're actually going to notify you through your phone because you need to be able to, like, as soon as that notification comes in, you got seriously, like, right now like 10 maybe 20 seconds if you're lucky to be able to get an rtx 3080 because you got to remember by the time they send that thing and it gets to you people who are sitting on new egg hitting f5 are going to be a couple seconds ahead of you just because of the delay that comes from you know them actually sending it and your phone actually receiving it that's just how the internet works you can't get any faster so you need to be as fast as you humanly can which means that you also need to have your payment method ready to go so you need to be able to click that link add it to your cart and pay and go right away so um, for me, that was a huge problem because I have two-factor authentication set not only on Newegg and other websites, but also on all, all of my payment information has two-factor authentication set up. And for a lot of you out there, that's going to be the difference of you being able to get one or not being able to get one. Because obviously, you know, if you have to go and enter a code that gets texted to you, that's going to take, you know, maybe 10 seconds, maybe even 20 seconds. Boom, that's too late. You can't get in anymore. So my advice to you would be, you know, people are saying that uh, Apple Pay is a good way to do that if you can do Apple Pay. If you can't can't do Apple Pay. You know, this is it's very risky to disable things like uh, two-factor authentication. But if you do have, like, say, an extra PayPal account that, you know, it's not tied to anything, you just have a little bit of money sitting in there, that would be a good way to somewhat securely be able to just quickly check out. This, because, you know, if, if you're willing to have two-factor authentication turned off on a basically burner PayPal account, well, then you can quickly check out, and that's probably your best way of doing it. But again, that's pretty much all I can tell you for now. That's, like, your best chance of getting one of these cards. But three months have gone by here, and this thing is basically non-existent. It's basically vaporware. So getting one is going to be incredibly difficult no matter what you do. You have a much better chance of trying to get a 3060 Ti or 3070. I know that using stock drops myself, I was able to get a 3070 for me and my friend. Um, there was also plenty of opportunities to get 3060 Ti's, 3090s, etc. I just wasn't interested. Um, but obviously, the 3060 Ti is a much better deal than the 3070. So if you're looking at 3070 class, that's a great way to go. Now, the final thing I want to talk about today is that there was a leak that that came out about the Zen 3 Plus CPUs that are going to be the Ryzen 6000 CPUs coming out from AMD probably later in 2021. It looks like it's going to be a bit of a stopgap between the Zen 3 and the Zen 4 processors. So I guess a DDR5 might not be quite ready by the time these processors are scheduled to get out. But obviously AMD does want to keep you know pushing new CPUs out and keep getting improvements because they need to be able to beat you know the upcoming Intel CPUs that are going to be coming out probably within the next three months. Here there's going to be new CPUs coming out from Intel, so AMD's going to have to counter that shortly afterwards if they want to take back that gaming crown, and I do believe they're going to be able to do so even on a Zen 3 Plus, not a Zen 4. So it looks like, um, you get, now take this with a little bit of grain of salt because it's just a user over on the Chip Hell forums that posted this, so it could end up being totally wrong, but supposedly these new Warhol CPUs that are the Ryzen 6000 CPUs are going to be capable of potentially up to 5.5 gigahertz, and it'll likely get a score of 760 points on on CPU Z, and that was shared over on Twitter by Lafrey to David. And you know, I went ahead and I took that score and I compared it to my own overclocked 5800X, which, by the way, it's just a simple PBO that I enable on it because I didn't really get super into overclocking the 5800X quite yet. But you know, even with just PBO enabled, that's a 16% improvement over a 5800X with PBO enabled and some really fast memory. Uh, I believe I'm running it right now at like 39, 33 megahertz, and I have the timings at like I, I think they're 16. 14, 14, 14 for the main timing. So this is some really high performance memory as well as some, you know, up to five gigahertz clocks on the 5800X. And apparently this Warhol CPU is going to be 16% faster than an overclocked 5800X. So that's really, really impressive stuff here. And you know, if this does end up coming out by the end of the year, this is going to be a nice upgrade for people who are maybe sitting on their Zen Plus processors, you know, like a 2700X. I think at that point, you'll get, you know, a really decent performance lift out of that sort of an upgrade. Now, whether or not it'll be compatible with the AM4 socket, I have no idea. I hope it is, but we'll just have to wait and see. It could end up being on an entirely new socket. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the RTX 3080 stock? Do you think you're going to actually be able to get one? Or do you think the whole next generation of GPUs is going to roll around? 
around by the time you get the chance. Also, if you did like the video, make sure you hit that like button and share it with as many of your friends as you can because, you know, for some reason, still can't figure it out. I got demonetized or something by YouTube. It thinks I'm in the partner program, but I'm getting treated like I'm not in the partner program. I don't know what's going on. So any help that you can give me is greatly appreciated. But that's all I have for now, and I will see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.